Established in 2014 by the Waterford Heritage and Agricultural Museum, the Agricultural Hall of Fame is a year-round exhibit in WAM's Agricultural Gallery, where many of Norfolk County's unique agricultural artifacts are also displayed. The exhibit features past inductees, all who have had influence and importance in our local agricultural community. The Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame is pleased to present its 2020 Hall of Fame inductees, Jim and Mary Field, Robert Lanning, and Annie Zalewski. Welcome to the 2020 Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I am very pleased to be at the Waterford Heritage and Agricultural Museum to honor and celebrate this year's inductees. While this is not the usual format for the event, it certainly doesn't diminish the contributions of this year's honorees. Norfolk County's foundation has always been and continues to be agriculture. Our agricultural history is a proud and rich tradition, more than 200 years old. The Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame is our way of paying tribute to all those who have so significantly contributed to the agricultural sector. Today we pay tribute to four of Norfolk County's finest. The inductees were selected by the Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame Selection Committee, consisting of Rob Adlam, Sharon Petherum, James Christensen, and myself. I would sincerely like to thank my fellow members for their thoughtful consideration and continued commitment to excellence. Inductees were selected on the basis of demonstrated achievements, results, benefits, and innovations accrued to agriculture and rural development on a local and or broader basis as a result of the candidates' volunteer and paid activities. A lasting legacy was also identified for each candidate. This year's inductees include Jim and Mary Field, Robert Lanning, and Annie Zalewski. Each of these individuals have demonstrated an innovative spirit and a lifetime commitment to the field of agriculture. And I know you all join me in congratulating Jim, Mary, Robert, and Annie on their well-deserved induction into the Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame. Thank you uh, to Norfolk County and the Agricultural Hall of Fame for this uh, opportunity for all of us to pay tribute to Annie Zalewski and uh, Bob Lanning, as well as uh, Jim and Mary Field. And uh, these people have uh, they've contributed so much to uh, farming in our area and have been the really an anchor or the bedrock for our farm organizations and our, uh, our farm businesses in this very rich and productive agricultural part of the world. As farm leaders, Annie and Bob and uh, uh, Jim and Mary, uh, uh, I know they always made me feel welcome at uh, meetings. They were uh, people persons, uh, really good at building relationships and all to the end of uh, improving our, our egg sector and uh, our egg production uh, produ processing sector. And, uh, and really, and, and through this recognition, have obviously uh, contributed so much to, the, uh, to our, our success locally and our way of life. I, uh, so I do wish to say on behalf of the uh, Province of Ontario, thank you to the Ag Hall of Fame and uh, thank you to this uh, collection of uh, truly uh, farm leaders and their legacy will, will live on for many, many years. And now, presenting our Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame 2020 inductees. Mary and the late Jim Field first purchased a dairy farm in 1969 on the 14th concession of Townsend, but a year later pivoted their focus to raising purebred swine. Since that time, the duo has shown outstanding leadership and advocacy in their field and have been recognized throughout the country for their efforts. Eventually, they moved their operation, Jamar Farm, to Lynn Valley Road and quickly established themselves as having top management practices with their swine herd being acknowledged as one of the top 10 in Ontario. Through their utilization of testing programs, increasing sow productivity, and development of positive traits, 
Jamar Farm exhibited exemplary swine health throughout its 30 plus years in operation. They were a font of information and enthusiasm whenever there was things to be done. Jim and Mary were there. They were great uh, at supporting the local uh, industry, worked with uh, Norfolk County Fair, always had uh, uh, pigs there and were there to talk to people. They were just great people to work with and uh, certainly a big asset to the pork industry in Canada. This is a well-deserved honour uh, based on her many leadership roles that she took on in traditional uh, male roles in leadership in farm committees and advocacy. Um, so Jim and Mary's partnership at, with uh, Jamar Farms epitomizes the uh, partnership between spouses that it takes to be successful in agriculture. It's, it's a great pleasure to accept it on behalf of Jim and I. Um, we've been, had farmed for years with the idea of making farming a um, better industry. It's a, it's a wonderful profession, but um, my husband was adamant having worked where there were unions that farming should have a cost of production attached to it. Um, and myself, I became interested in the purebred industry. So for 58 years of our lives, we sort of at one point or other was always involved in some kind of making things better. <clears throat> we were both very involved in the agriculture industry committees and I became interested in the purebred swine industry and um, served on committees both provincially and federally. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a wonderful journey and I appreciate this work very much. Thank you. Robert Lanning saw firsthand the new developments in equipment for animal operations. Realizing these products filled a need within the industry and could be a profitable endeavor for his own farm career, Robert entered the agricultural equipment wholesale market. The business started on the family's farm in Villanova and grew until Lanning opened a distribution center based in Waterford. By the mid-1970s, it had grown to include an outlet in Quebec and a warehouse in Kensington, PEI. The business put Norfolk County on the map, with sales to 800 retailers and companies across eastern Canada, Germany, Britain, Italy, Denmark, and the USA. Well, Robert Lanning, through his experience of growing up on his family's uh, dairy operation, recognized early on the need for changing technology and equipment to be successful and competitive in the industry. And after visiting the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair, he had a moment where he realized that there was an opportunity to uh, market this new technology. And so he took it upon himself without any previous training to embark on this field locally from his own farm. The success of that operation and his skill in marketing um, developed that into an internationally uh, successful company. Robert Lanning was one of those ones that was a leading light in, in agriculture and sports also in Norfolk County. Uh, he was a farmer, a dairy farmer. He had outstanding herd of Holstein cattle that were uh, well known around. And uh, uh, he was also in the farm machinery business, had uh, uh, farm machinery outlet here and in uh, the Maritime provinces. And he, uh, just one of those guys that when there was things to be done, he was there. Uh, always promoting Norfolk County and Ontario and Canada. We would like to thank the Waterford Ag Museum for the certificate of recognition on, uh, for our, our father's accomplishments back in the 50s and the 1960s when he was still a, uh, when he's still a Holstein dairy farmer. Um, he worked hard, uh, he passed away just over a year ago, but he was aware of this honor uh, and he was very, very excited about it, except that unfortunately he's not here today, but that's what family's for, so thank you. Annie Zalewski was born in 1929 on the family farm in Glasgow, Scotland. Her family immigrated to Canada a year later, establishing a dairy, chicken, and hog farm in Townsend Township. Not wanting to be relegated to what was then typical female roles like bookkeeping, 
Annie integrated herself into every aspect of the farm's operation. Considerable hard work and research went into the Zalewski 64-acre operation. They experimented with several crops like tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, and strawberries, as well as a dairy herd. Annie foresaw the decline of tobacco, the rise of horticultural crops, and the importance of agro-tourism in Norfolk County. She was also one of the first farmers to see the necessity and value of offshore workers. Annie Zalewski uh, is our second um, female inductee into the Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame. It's a first um, for the hall, but firsts aren't new to Annie. Annie, um, again, took on many leadership roles that were traditionally assigned to men in the leadership of agricultural committees and promoted agricultural causes. She was also a, a forerunner in many ways where she could look ahead and see coming trends. Annie was very, very active in uh, farm organizations, especially farm safety. And she was one of the ones that uh, was on the team that went around and talked to schools and put on uh, uh, demonstration days and so on for, uh, for children to learn about farm safety. And what an important thing because all these farmers' kids, you know, dad's on the tractor, I could be too, but maybe that's not the best idea. And Annie could explain that, why that was. Well, thank you very much. We're very honoured to have Annie inducted into the Agriculture Hall of Fame here in Norfolk County. It means a lot to us. Annie's made some significant contributions over the years and she's been a, a great role model and someone that we've always looked up to and aspired to. It's such an honour for our family to uh, have my mum receive this award. Her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, all of us are also very proud of my mum and her achievements. Mom, what do you have to say about getting this award? Oh, I'm going to thank everybody. Yeah, I'm glad I'm getting it. And I want to thank everybody that helped me along the way. Everybody, you can't do anything by yourself. So I say all the people that helped along the way to make those, all those programs success, I'm thanking them for all the help they gave me. I would like to thank you all for joining us and sharing in this celebration of the 2020 Norfolk County Agricultural Hall of Fame inductees. It has been an honor and a privilege to recognize some of Norfolk County's finest, Jim and Mary Field, Robert Lanning, and Annie Zalewski. Thank you for your lifetime commitment to the agricultural sector. Your impact has been felt far beyond our county borders. Just before we close, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that we are looking to receive nominations for 2021-22, and we encourage you to submit nominations. We know there are many out there who deserve recognition. Until next year.